Hello everyone and welcome to the Sweet and Simple Home 2021 Christmas Home Tour. I'm so glad you're here. Thanks for stopping by. This is a new home to us because once again we have moved and I have a lovely new house to decorate for Christmas. So I hope you'll come on in and enjoy the tour. Welcome. Come on in you guys. Come in from the cold. I have a tree sitting by my front door as well as my vintage sign to greet you and cheer you as you come in. You're greeted by my sitting room as you come in. And here's a good glance at my house. You guys have been asking to see more of the house. Well, here's the house. It has some nice high vaulted ceilings, open floor plan. It's late 90s style but we really like the cozy factor that it has as you come in you can choose to sit in my husband's chair or you can choose to sit in my chair right by the fire and the tree I was proud of myself for this solution I put this box under here and it holds ornament hooks and whatnot I also had to come up with a solution for our tree skirt because I had a box my dad made me that broke in our move. I'm hoping he can fix it for me, but for now I'm just using a twin bed sheet that I had on hand. And I think it's working well. Our fireplace is so nice. It's so warm. I know it's fake, but it definitely has that ambiance feel that I love. And on the fireplace, I put a few swags together, some pine cones, a few vintage shiny brights, some candles to create a sort of uh, a garland look. On my coffee table, I put together this little basket of a lot of my faux trees, and I used fairy lights to wrap around each of the trees. In that basket, I also have scented pine cones and some more shiny brights. It smells great and it looks absolutely magical at night. Next to the basket, I very purposely placed these two books. Journey into Christmas. Then I have a Christmas Carol illustrated by Haley De Roche. I've shared her artwork before on my channel. I'm not sponsored or anything. This was a gift actually from my husband last year. This tree is probably my favorite tree. And I know I say that every year, but it's true every year. I love how this tree sparkles. I love the sort of mix of all different sorts of ornaments and shapes and color. My favorite colors to use are bold reds, deep greens along with mint greens and aquas, and I love snowflakes on my tree. I just love the impact and the sort of visual interest and texture that various shapes and sizes of snowflakes bring to a tree. You'll see I have some various kinds of ornaments that mean something to my family. Like this is Clive's father Christmas ornament. Each of my kids have a theme from their grandparents and every year they're gifted a new ornament. And Clive's theme is Narnia. So you'll see some of those on here. have some special ornaments made by friends and family. And this is one of my ornaments from my childhood. My theme growing up was lambs. And there's one more of Clive's Narnia theme. And some more vintage, and I've even tucked vintage Christmas cards into the tree this year, which I totally love. I can't believe I hadn't thought of that before. I love that. And the large snowflakes you see on my tree, the really big ones, I got at Dollar Tree years ago. I'm not sure if you can still find them there, but really big snowflakes add a lot of interest to a tree. And here's one of those Disney baubles that I showed you in a haul recently. My husband and I got those on our honeymoon and I found even more at an estate sale. So wonderful memories there. 
and here's our first married Christmas first year married and you'll notice I used two kinds of lights my tree is pre-lit but I also used those lights that you can hang on your porch we didn't put them on our porch yet this year and I thought hmm I bet I could tuck those into the tree and give it even more light and glow I'm so glad I did that these lights will probably never make it to the porch the glow is incredible So this is a quirky secret, but we had to have the internet installed in our house right underneath where this table is, which is why it's there to kind of make it look not so weird that there's the internet box right there. So this has become our entryway table and it's nice to have a lamp here and I've decorated it really cute with this pitcher that I filled with little crafty bits, a bottle brush candy cane, some snowflakes and pine cones and this picture that I framed in the back is also one of Haley De Rocher's. Uh, her website is Sweet Sequels. So now we're heading into the kitchen dining area. This is my window above my kitchen sink. It's always hard to film window areas because the lighting, but the previous owner left this balance behind and I thought it would be perfect for Christmas with a little wreath hanging there. And I was absolutely right. I love the red and green. Next to the window, we've set up our little coffee station and I just like to add a few touches of Christmas to this as this is a very active, busy spot in the house. So I have this little assemblage project that I did a couple years ago. One of my winterberry mugs and some just candy canes tucked in this gravy boat that I used to hold our filters. Next to the stove I have our advent countdown to Christmas calendar. In each of these little boxes I put some goodies for my kids and it's just something we look forward to but I found this at Target when Molly was a baby and I still love it. On the other side of the stove, I have my utensils and whatnot, but I found another milk glass to hold some of those little candies. And when we have company, I can pull those candies out and set them on the coffee table. When we don't have company, they'll stay here. <laughs> on the wall next to the pantry, I hung a pot holder made by a friend, and I used a pretty velvet ribbon to hang my grandma's cookie cutters. My pantry door is sporting a lovely wreath I got at an estate sale. And my centerpiece on my table is not super traditional right now because I always decorate during my birthday. And these were gifts from my husband, this beautiful bouquet of flowers. He always buys me pink roses because he says they always remind him of me. These were just too pretty not to keep out even though it's not super Christmassy. They are super beautiful and just smell so amazing. I wish you all could smell this right now. Once the roses have run their course, this will become the centerpiece. And you guys know I love shiny brights. They are a favorite of mine. Basically any vintage bauble I love. It doesn't have to be a shiny bright, but those are my favorite. So these are some of my very old, more delicate pieces that I didn't necessarily want on the tree. It's always hard to film shiny brights as well because you can totally see me <laughs> in their reflection. So above there, I switched out those little plates I had for one of my vintage clipboards and I clipped up this beautiful vintage advent calendar that my friend gave me years ago. So in the archway leading into our family room slash library, I hung my flocked garland I got at Walmart years ago and I also hung a ribbon and use little mini clothes pins to attach Christmas cards I've kept over the years that have just been absolute favorites and I'll switch those out for cards from friends and family as they arrive. 
In the family room slash library, we have a super cozy couch with some pillows and the chessboard set out for spontaneous chess games, of course. I put the chess pieces in this milk glass on top of a little candle ring and some of my favorite Christmas books. Now this book is called Take Joy by Tasha Tudor. I recommended it many times before and I will continue to recommend it. It is an absolute treasure and if you ever come across it, I highly encourage you to buy it. So beautiful, has so many lovely stories, poems, songs, artwork that are just amazing and from around the world and from different time periods. So it's actually kind of educational as well. I have a couple books illustrated by Masha and these are from the same era, they're 1940s, early 50s. So on the other side of the room we have our piano and I just put some Christmas music out on the piano. On our bookshelves, I tucked in little bits of Christmas, like this Joy to the World banner I made years ago, some pine cones and greenery. My fellow book nerds will know why I put these trees in the lamppost by our C.S. Lewis collection. I've tucked old card boxes in with the books, just subtle hints of Christmas. And of course, a little spot for my vintage snowman Russian doll set. Here I tucked a vintage ornament hook box and some old Christmas labels. Between the two bookshelves under the window, I have this large box my dad built me, and I filled it with my collection of children's books. This is one of my absolute favorite things every year to pull out and all my kids, even the older ones, still enjoy when mom pulls out the Christmas books. On the other bookshelf, I've tucked little bits of Christmas again. I have a vintage postcard displayed there. I have some plaid tins and a vintage little Christmas scene there on that tin. Another assemblage project. I put some little plaid boxes again here and displayed that beautiful house ornament I found at an estate sale this summer. I love that ornament. Up at the top, Santa is once again riding over the globe, coming to bring us some Christmas cheer. And I made this using an empty frame I couldn't find a purpose for. I think it's so perfect. That ornament is one of my absolute favorites. It's made in occupied Japan and I just love how it looks hanging with this vintage ribbon. Our TV stand is this gorgeous green and I thought it'd be fun to have pops of red behind the doors. So what I did was I used my ornament boxes and sort of stacked them inside here. I've also got some milk glass pieces in here too but it looks so fun from a distance especially. And I have some of those Pioneer Woman boxes. These are actually what I store ornaments in as well, so it'll be nice when it comes time to put things away. The boxes are right there, and I have ribbon right there because I have a feeling I'll be wrapping presents in this room a lot in front of the TV watching Christmas movies. Thanks everyone so much for coming by today. I hope you enjoyed seeing our house tour for 2021 and seeing a little bit more of our house since this is a new to us house. And if you've missed our story, we recently moved. So I will link to that little information video if you're curious. But I do have a playlist with past year video tours that I will link for you guys on the next screen. I have lots more Christmas decor inspiration coming too, so be sure that you are subscribed and that you hit the red bell to get notified when I post. You guys take care, and to my fellow Americans, I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving. So I just wish you all the best for this holiday season, and take care. I'll be back with more soon. Bye!